The only thing I don't like about these back roads right here is no guardrails uh, coming around these curves. And you see this sign is 35 miles per hour. Trying to get up, get up there. Just did a U-turn. Now I'm going back where I came from, but I'm going up. No one ain't no truck coming through here, man. I'm going up. Look at this. Another West Virginia action. Damn. Luckily, I've been I've done this before. Luckily, I've done it before. I had to pull the camera out for this one. So another reason why I just came, I came this way because I'm light as hell. I've been heavy. Mm -mm. See, I've done this before. Colorado. Look at that shit down there. This that shit you don't want right here. This shit you don't want right here. <clears throat> Luckily, I mean, I, I've done this. I've done this before. <laughs> uh, but not at this. I've done this before. So, yeah. Oh. Here we go. I see some trucks done bent this damn shit right here. Just gotta take it easy. <laughs> Check this out. Sorry about that. 
So trucking with Keith, man. Ain't nobody been out here. So the back road, it's all my back road kings and queens. Ain't, ain't nobody been out here but me. And I know why on this road, Highway 245. I can see up here some commercial, uh, some flashing. I think they're doing something up there, but I can see some flashing. I'm about to go up even higher than where, I, where I'm at. It's, it's crazy out here because there's nothing out here, man. Look at this. And we're just going to go up and up. Look at here. I've been on the back road. I, the only thing I don't like about these back roads right here is no guardrails uh, coming around these curves. And you see this sign is 35 miles per hour. Let's get, let's get back closer to it. But that's the only thing. I, no guardrail and you're off the edge. You're off the edge of the cliff. You know, look, look at this. So, it's a long way down, man. It, it, it don't, don't, don't let the camera fool you, man. But, see that white section right up there? I'm going all through that white section all up. You probably can't see it from here because it's so smoky and stuff. But here's the white section I'm at now. And look, we can go up. All because, all because forest fire on 84 shut, shut down. Now, normally I wouldn't come this way. I would stay on Highway 20 or 26, but skip it, man. We doing what we do. We doing what we do. So I'm, part, I'm off on the side of a, I can't get the drone in this sky because I'm at SOS. Like, so it can't peep out stuff for me and see what I, what I got to go. But I've already done came crazy and I'm going, I'm about to get crazier. I got to take oncoming traffic in order to make these curves because there's no guardrail. So this is what we do. I've done this in Colorado, Highway 6 coming out of, if you ever on, if you ever on, if you ever on Interstate 70 in Colorado and you come through Loveland Pass, there's a ski, there's some ski trolleys or whatever cables. I was on top of that coming down, but on the other side of it, but on the other side of it where you go up, it's, it's like going up a staircase, a flight of steps, going all the way, all the way up. I was up about 13,000 feet elevation and no guardrails going up that neither. So this is what we do, man. This right here, I'm not paranoid from this. I'm not paranoid. I'm not paranoid or scared or anything because there's no traffic out here. So I can just take oncoming traffic to get around these, some of these mountains and edge of these cliffs. So, and plus I'm light as hell too. So, but that don't mean nothing though. I seen a car coming down that mountain and it ain't even got to me yet. And that's, it's been about two minutes and come on man. I'm looking at my camera to see the time. It's been about two minutes ago when I seen this car coming down this mountain, mountain and it ain't got to me yet. So it's a black SUV that's coming down this mountain I'm about to go up. I'm about to go up even higher. And it hasn't even got to me yet. And I seen it about two minutes ago and it still haven't got to me yet. So that just lets you know what I'm dealing with. But I'm about to get gone because I, I'm, I'm SOS out here and I got no signal. I'm SOS. And I don't need no help though. There you go. It, I thought it was black, but it's green. It finally came. About two minutes ago, I seen it way up there. I'm gonna tap back in with you. Whoa. Damn. That's up there, man. It should, say, it should have had a sign that said 245, no trucks. Highway 245, no trucks. So that is up there. Just look up there. See way up there, that little white section way up there? That's where I gotta go. Gotta go up to the top up there. Mm, mm, mm. So, 
all good. <laughs> she didn't get past me. Uh, this chick just passed me in a Charger, a, a, a Challenger, and she didn't charge her, Dodge Charger. She ain't far. She is not far. I see this dude in his truck though. He don't want, he don't want no information. He don't want he don't want none. See? No wonder. No wonder I ain't seen no trucks. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? If you load it down heavy, mm -mm, this is suicide. All this was on fire, smoking. I wonder how they put it out. AC off, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> I wonder what elevation I'm at. That's why I miss about my GPS. You hear my bottles popping, pop, pop. Because I'm, I'm up high, man. I'm up high. All right, U turn. It goes a U turn. looking at me like what the hell is this semi doing up here <laughs> I let him go ahead and pass me <laughs> that's where I came from after this part right here I'm, I'm I'll be Gucci after the little part right here and that was the hard part right there I just did It is hot, 97 degrees up here, Woo. 106 yesterday, 20 mile, 25 mile per hour sign. Yeah, you just got to put your four ways on and take your time when you're dealing with this. Now, I wouldn't have came this way if I was heavy as hell, you know, 40, uh, 38,000 foot, but I ain't but 17,000. I ain't got but 11 pallets, you know. Man, they zipped. I mean, when I say they zipped, they zipped. I let them go and they zipped. this on film you never know I ain't gonna lie it's hot Taking on coming traffic, dude.
time right here. You don't know what's coming. Nothing is coming in front of me so I can take oncoming traffic, oncoming lane. And then this one right here is, is the uh, roller coaster. It's that roller coaster loop right here. Nothing is coming though. Take your time. Lock it, dog. Lock it, dog. Lock it. Lock it. Not that far in front of me, man. That dude go over there. <laughs> Got my four ways on in case somebody roll up on me. Truck do ride on this. Look at this. Truck next five miles down. My goodness. 
Put your shirt on. Virginia. <laughs> Y'all got mountains, but I don't think it's like this. Oh, shit. Finally back on the interstate. Interstate closed behind me and it's closed going east. Just jumped back on, man. Interstate, interstate closed going east. Gotta get off. Yep, they got it closed going east. Crazy, man. Crazy. I did all that for 70 miles, for 75, 75, 76 miles. Um, I lost what three three hours, three something hours, maybe yeah, about two or three hours, maybe about three for that, for that to go 70, 75 miles, three hours, three 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 and a half, something like that for that. Nobody's out here neither, man, because nothing is coming. Everything that's gonna be coming west is gonna be coming. We're gonna catch up with them. Past the Flying J. We'll probably shoot up or maybe up through the uh, Cabbage Patch or maybe around Pendleton. We're gonna catch up with them over there somewhere. So. But nobody's out here going east or west. Well, going west now, but. And this guy right here with Creek, he just came from the truck stop out of Baker City where I got on that. He was coming out in front of me. And so he so he's out here now and maybe up further, you know, a few more trucks, but ain't nobody coming east, man. Yeah. Nobody's coming east, man. Check this out. Probably 
can't see the mountains, but it's looking, I mean, it's smoked out out there, man. I came from that. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's it, man. We came through that joint, you know what I mean? I done been on some crazy places. Uh, I think it was one highway in Virginia that scared the hell out of me. Worse than, than that right there. And I was empty, and that shit scared me. But that was 20, like 22 years ago. But I was heavy in... Um, I was heavy, had a heavy load coming out of, uh, what's that, West Virginia, I forget the name of the town, I'll put it on the screen, but I was heavy coming out of West Virginia with that load of charcoal, and I was going over by Harrisonburg, Virginia, coming out of West Virginia, those, those back roads right there, so the highway was similar, but more trees and more more condensed in West West Virginia wasn't wasn't wide open, like that right there was kind of open, like you could see me like clear and visual. Everything's wide open, right? Even though I was coming through tight turns and U turns and like like that, but by me being light like I was, it was all good. But in West Virginia, when I was coming around those same type of curves where I was doing a U turn while going up on the U turn type curve. Man, that charcoal was 40 something thousand pounds and if the truck was popping, making popping noise like you was about to, it was popping like pop, 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 pop. When I was coming around, I was like, oh my God, you know? So yeah, this truck, no no noise at all. Just, just tuck it up easy, coming around. So La Grande, La Grande, La Grande, or La Grande, La Grande. Might be Lagrande, but that is where we should start seeing traffic pass there. A little more traffic, whatever. I don't know, but it's nothing out here. I like it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of COVID. You know, I like it. No, no traffic. I'm gonna tap back in with you. So this is where everybody's at. I've been wondering, it's been feeling like COVID, shut down, nobody, but this is where they got the interstate eastbound closed down, right at Pendleton, right before you get ready to go to the cabbage patch. They got the interstate, they, they got the, well, actually they got them exiting off, so I don't know what's going on or what they're doing or how they're doing it, but that's why it's not any traffic going eastbound when you come out of Baker City. And then when you get to La Grande, they, they at the Flying J is backed up all the way over there going through there. And they had to exit off eastbound over there. So it's been crazy. I haven't had any problems. What you see in front of me is what has been for me all day long because of the way I came. I'm kind of, hey, in that 30, I see some cats taking 30, so, highway 30, so, hey, maybe that was it, too. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's been crazy with the, with the interstate closer, with the interstate closures, and the different spots where you have to get off and and all that so this right here what i see in front of me that's how it's been for me all day long man so i ain't had no issues no problems you know besides me going through uh you know going up in the sky and the mountains and up way up there i mean other than that i mean I, it's been smooth selling for me you know so i mean i lost time going through that way because it took me basically three hours, I lost like three hours going through that way, which I knew that was going to be case starting out anyway. But, but, uh, w but no traffic for me. Just what I was, just this. So, so, so it's picking up. 
like I said, when I came off of the exit in Baker City, that Pendleton, um, Oregon would probably be where things start picking up at. And it has not disappointed me. Let go.